What's up y'all, welcome back to the Coach Plugged In channel and today I officially have the M1 new MacBook Pro here in the studio and I just wanted to do a quick impressions from an iPad user perspective. Man, this thing right here, it is fast, it is for somebody, but I wanted to run through a few tests so I have a few videos coming up comparing it to my iPad Pro and who should switch and if you should switch to this new M1 chip. I did want to try it out because of the fact that uh, I've used MacBooks before the MacBook Pro 13 inch has been my favorite MacBook Pro since the beginning of time and so since I switched over to the iPad Pro I did want to take a look at this right here because you know it is still one of my favorite devices in the world only having the two USB-C ports uh, is that a big difference uh, how fast will it edit video and open other apps compared to the iPad Pro and what does this mean for the future of Apple so stick around for my full impressions of this MacBook Pro for sure but today I just wanted to give my quick impressions and how I feel about it and how I think some of these tests that I'm gonna do are gonna go so the new Apple M1 chips have their new own chip and also if you notice on the website that you cannot really go above 16 gigs of RAM because they now has something called unified memory. And so as a person that has always, you know, never really went above 16 gigs of RAM anyway, I'm really anxious to see how this thing can edit video. Now lately I have, you know, been doing all of my videos on LumaFusion on the iPad Pro and it integrates really well with uh, Final Cut Pro, but now they said that there will be support eventually to have iOS and iPad OS apps on these M1 chips through the new Mac OS and I really do like the sound of that but I really want to see how this new M1 chip does with Final Cut Pro and how it compares to something like LumaFusion on the iPad Pro and one of the things that I want to see is not really about the playback I have seen videos already about the playback on these new M1 chips in uh, DaVinci Resolve and also in Final Cut Pro and the playback speeds are amazing and people have been getting some really good render times but what I want to know is is the render times really as fast as the iPad Pro. Now as many of you may know I'm using a 2018 iPad Pro so I really want to know how that chip compares to this new M1 chip and what does that mean not only for the future of MacBooks but what does that mean for the future of the iPad because that is the most important thing to a lot of users now a lot of people have been going to the iPads for all of their daily work and now with these new computers out which one is probably the best I've been seeing a lot of people go for the Air and the Mini. So does that mean that this Pro here is out of place? Does that mean everybody is waiting for the 16 inch Pro? Make sure y'all stay plugged in on Apple and here on the channel because those are things I really want to know. So my next few videos coming up is how are the render speeds exporting 4K video between this and my iPad Pro and then also who should be switching from the iPad to the MacBook and if you should be switching and is this the right time. So I just wanted to give you all a quick impressions of what I think of this right here. Uh, I do think this is amazing. It is nice. It is lightweight like I remember and uh, I cannot wait to test this out even more and do even more with it. But if you have anything that you want me to check out on this MacBook Pro here, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. Also like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that you know when I come out with these future reviews. And until next time, this is Coach Plugged In. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.